champs. Welcome to our Flipped Classroom's front-end technologies quiz. Ready to flex those coding muscles? Test your front-end skills and stay tuned for more brain teasers. Question 1. What is the purpose of the block quote tag in HTML? A. To define a hyperlink. B. To create a hyperlink. C. To specify the title of a work. D. To indicate quoted content from an external source. Time's ticking. Choose your answer. The correct answer is D. To indicate quoted content from an external source. Well done if you got that right. Moving on to question 2, what does the ID selector in CSS target? A. Elements with a specific class. B. Elements within a specific tag. C. A unique HTML element. D. All elements on the web page. Time's ticking. Choose your answer. And the correct answer is C. A unique HTML element. Great job if you nailed it! Question 3. What is the recommended approach for maintaining and reusing CSS across different pages? A. Using inline styles in the HTML body. B. Embedding CSS within each HTML file. C. Utilizing internal style sheets within the head of HTML files. D. Using an external style sheet link with the angle brackets link tag. Make your choice. The correct answer is D using an external style sheet link with the angle brackets link tag. Fantastic if you got that right. Question 4. What is the purpose of the document object model, DOM, in client-side JavaScript? A. To control the server and its documents. B. To manipulate the appearance of the browser. C. To manage server-side objects. D. To handle database communications. What's your answer? The correct answer is B. To manipulate the appearance of the browser. Well done if you selected that. Question 5. What is the purpose of JavaScript events in the context of a web page? A. To create static interfaces. B. To provide a dynamic interface. C. To define the page structure. D. To handle server-side logic. Choose wisely. The correct answer is B. To provide a dynamic interface. Amazing if you got it right. Last but not least, question 6. Which JavaScript event corresponds to hovering the mouse pointer over an element in its children? A. On mouse over event. B. On mouse enter event. C. On mouse move event. D. On mouse out event. What's your final answer? The correct answer is A. On mouse over event. Awesome if you ace this quiz. Fantastic job, coding maestros! To unravel the answers and enhance your skills, check out our Flip Classroom's Front End Technologies 1 and 2 courses. Stay tuned for more quizzes and keep coding like a pro.